Hello everyone, my name is Colin Bannis. For those who don't know me, you're about to find out. For those who do know me, I'm sorry. I got some more stories here, so if you don't want to listen, you shouldn't be watching. Easter passed uh, almost a month ago. Uh, and every year, my Nana and my Aunt Debbie always ask, Did Peter Rabbit bring you anything? I'm fucking 22 years old. They're treating me like I'm five. So I said, yeah, they, Peter Rabbit brought me a basket full of cigarettes and beer. My older brother just moved into an apartment by himself. Uh -huh. But before he moved in, he met the realtor and everything. And she goes to him and asks, why do you need such a big apartment? Do you have parties? My brother goes on and says, no. Sometimes it, he gets my niece and nephew. Oh, okay. Then the realtor ended up smelling smoke and went off and asked, do you smoke marijuana? And before my brother can answer her, she grabs his shirt and goes, nope, not you. If I was my older brother, I would uh, went off and said, now you owe me a dinner because that's how it works, lady. Me and my sister are like putting puzzles together, as long as there are a hundred pieces. <laughs> but seriously, we, we like putting puzzles together. Uh, the thousand piece ones, after a while, you know, you get p pissed off at them and everything, you know. <laughs> when we get mad, we go and say, screw this! <clears throat> I told my sister, I says, you know, it would be an easier way to, you know, put the puzzle together. Drink a few beers and then uh, after a while all your vision goes blurry. It looks like the puzzle's put together. <laughs> then you wake up the next morning with a hangover and look over and the puzzle's apart. And you go out and say, who the hell took apart the puzzle? <coughs> My cousin got married, I can't remember how long ago, but uh, we didn't get invited to the wedding. But uh, her uh, husband's name is Willis. Uh, they got married in a church. Now here's the funny thing. My family was told that Willis is an atheist. Yeah, and he got married in a church. <laughs> and then one of the pictures in the back you see a picture of Jesus and he looks confused <laughs> if I was Willis I would have waited outside and then one time when it came time to you know uh, the priest goes on and says you may now go outside to kiss your husband <clears throat> But I'm wondering if anyone ever did this at a wedding. It's in a field. It's beautiful, quiet. The bride and groom are doing their vows. And all of a sudden from the back of the crowd you hear, this is horse shit. Everyone, you know, is shocked. <gasps> they all turn to the person and he goes on and says, no really, I stepped in horse shit, look at that. Yeah, I bet they'll never invite me to a wedding again. I talked about people having phones and everything. Technology today. Kids have phones anymore. Everywhere you go, you see a kid with a phone. Any age br bracket. Even the pregnant women that are having kids already have a phone for their, you know, when they come out. They're in the delivery room, the baby comes out, and the father hands them the cell phone. The baby already has an account, friends, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever uh, gender they are. I'm 22 years old, how I said. I don't have a phone. And I'm glad.
because I was taught uh, when I was younger, you want a phone, pay for it yourself. <clears throat> Talked about dating sites before. <clears throat> uh, I went on this one before I, I'm, before I went to this one I'm on now, but I. Uh, it says that it's free, you know. So I went on the minute account for and everything, and it says I have to pay for coins just to talk to people. Wait, wait, wait. I have to pay for coins just to talk to people. Why don't I just give my credit card to a criminal and say, go nuts? <clears throat> then I like, uh, going on those dating websites and looking at pe people's pictures and everything. I wonder what goes through their mind. Actually, I probably do know what goes through their mind. You know, how do I, how do I remain single for the rest of my life? Oh, I know. <laughs> Hell, I'm not the best looking guy in the world. I'm not. I can tell you that right now. But people with those pic different pictures than that. I was talking to this one girl uh, at one time, and uh, she goes up and says that she liked my mustache. I said, "Thanks, I grew it myself." <laughs> then I was talking to another girl, and uh, she asked me to send her a pi picture of me. I said, all right. So I sent a picture of myself. And she goes, oh, you're cute. I'm like, oh, you're blind. <laughs> I told that to my friend Brooke. And uh, she goes on and says, Colton, stop saying that you're ugly. You're not ugly. I go, oh, Brooke, you must have horrible vision too. <laughs> and she goes on and says, no, I have 20-20. My mom goes on and says, stop saying about that, you know, that you're ugly. You're a handsome man. I go on and say, mom, put on your glasses, then you can see. <clears throat> but I'm talking to this one girl right now. Uh, I'm not going to say her name, Nicole. Uh, <laughs> but uh, she asked me, what am I looking in for a woman? I went up and said, just as long as there's not part mat on you. <laughs> then I asked how old she was and she says 28. And I hate those people that go off and sit, you know, because I'm 22. You know, I hate people who go off and say that, you know, uh, older people who go off and say that, oh, you can't date her, she's too old for you. And age is just a number, just so you know. <clears throat> but uh, she goes off and asks, am I over my last girlfriend? I go on and say, yes, because I never had a relationship before. Which is true. I never had a relationship. No girl ever liked me. How I said, she does not come out this end. I am telling the truth right here. But one day I asked what she was doing and she said that she was going to church. I says, oh, okay. Tell God I said hi. A few days after, I go off and ask, did you tell God I said hi? And she said, yeah. And I said, thanks. Everyone knows that show, Cops. Cops going around arresting criminals and everything. Which got me to thinking, they should make a TV show about criminals trying to get away with it, but don't, you know, and call it something catchy like robbers that almost got away with it. Make it a comedy series. 
I can see one of the episodes too in my head, you know. <laughs> one of the episodes is like this. Hi, my name is uh, Jeffrey. Over here is Pete. Don't say our names. We're not, we're, uh, uh, don't say our names. Why not? They won't recognize us. We're not wearing our masks. Shit, uh, you can edit that out later, right? Yeah? He said they could edit that out later, so. We're out here on uh, Old Man Harold's farm. <clears throat> P over here says they wanted hamburgers, so we're gonna steal our cow. Just hopefully our uh, cameraman over here, Jimmy, doesn't go cow tipping. <clears throat> like you did last week. Okay, let's get, let's go. Ooh. They go and everything, and uh, all of a sudden they hear a gunfire and everything. They go to run, and the cameraman trips. The camera goes static. The camera comes back on, and all three of them are tied up in the back of a truck. And you, Jeffrey goes on and says, We're here. Uh, old man Harold caught us again. Uh, we're waiting for the cops. It was uh, Jimmy's idea. Instead of going cow tipping, he ended up going to the hen house trying to have cockfights. Thank you.